Daybreak. 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 The Daybreak Show. At the problem of Nigerian university system, the problem of Nigerian citizens. Asu as a union has only taken it upon itself to be the conscience of the nation. As to the condition of our universities, you have laboratories without regents, you have computer department without computers. The genesis of this crisis began after an agreement we reached with federal government in 2009. Inside that agreement, we both agreed that given the dynamic nature of education and the peculiarity of university system, that agreement will be reviewed every three years. So if we ask government to provide education for its citizens, we are not asking for too much. There are four pillars in the 2009 agreement. The first is conditions of service. The second is funding for revitalization. The third is university autonomy and academic freedom. The fourth pillar has to do with other matters that relates, you know, to the ingredients to achieve the first three. I also talked about university autonomy. Today, governor can sit down and summon the vice chancellor of a university and read the riot acts to him. Some they can, he can even order him to go home from there. As well as heard about, is it 19 or 15 strikes, and they have always been having negotiations. And what I find it difficult to understand is, what are you negotiating? We know that in FUNAP, that if you are a principal officer in FUNAP, yes. and your child is going for wedding, something, the university gives you about two million naira. We are different from the society. We want a different standard. Government has politicized the appointment of vice chancellor. It's a political appointment. They are political officers. That's why a vice chancellor, even no matter, even if he's the most junior professor, who gets it gets about 1.8 million per month. The law establishing universities establishes a process for appointing vice chancellors. You see, the political aspect of it is that each time there's a vacancy, you understand, in any university, because of the perks and perquisites that are now attached to that office, people stop at nothing, including the mobilization of their ethnic group. The IPPS platform is so flexible. I'm not talking of documents. I'm talking of what I have enjoyed mm. and what I've seen. Who make the mistake that the, your salary is prepared in Abuja? No. Your salary is prepared in your own institution and then they vet it in Abuja. IPPIS is an imposed payroll system by IMF and World Bank as a conditionality for taking loans. IPPIS is an oracle platform imposed on Nigeria. I don't see why FUNAP cannot provide you with fresh fish. I don't know why I cannot drive inside FUNAP and walk away with palm wine. What are they doing? Universities are not established to provide fish or provide yam and all that. What they should do is provide the intellectual and enabling environment to be able to achieve that. The American government provided the enabling environment for all of those things you talked about, Silicon Valley and all that to mm -hmm. try. During COVID, in this same UNAM, there were a number of innovations to, to fight COVID. Where are they today? In our own university, within the COVID period, we built a ventilator, innovated a ventilator. Where is it? The, the Nigerian state has not done what it has to do to the university. <laughs> what? Nigerian state is negligent. There are a lot of people who shouldn't be in the university system. What we hear most from our universities, if we may, scandals. Hmm. Scandals, hmm. scandals. Even the small money federal government gave was generating problems in Ife. The Californian example, Nigeria and California are not at the same stages of development. The histories of universities in the two societies are different. The mission of societies, of universities in these two societies are different. A, a people who have not solved the electricity problem are talking about Silicon Valley. There are funds. The one million dollars that was given to Afghanistan, if it is invested in Nigerian University, will it not generate revenue? 
we once told the federal government that instead of giving contracts, consultancy contracts to foreign government and friends and cronies, bring it to the university, let us solve the problem. You pay us that money and we use it to develop the university. Has that happened? There must be investment in education before you can reap from it. To university, it's not just about the certification. It is about the quality and context of what you have. And we are talking about revitalization, would this do that? We are saying, give us the necessary equipment, give us the necessary facility so that our people can be globally competitive. Daybreak. 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 The Daybreak Show.